Hey guys, Greg here, and I wanna to talk to you today about caffeine and what is your caffeine of choice. Recently on the Freezer Burns Facebook page, I asked you guys, what is your caffeine of choice? Do you like tea? Do you like coffee? Do you like soda? And it's across the board, guys. I mean, while people like coffee and tea to start off the day, there's always uh, you know, a, a small a subset of people who they don't like either of those of those. They just go straight for like Diet Coke or Mountain Dew or something like that. I'm not judging here, guys. I'm just asking the question um, about caffeine. Now, for me, I have gone up and down, up and down. When I was in college, Mountain Dew, man, it was all about Mountain Dew. Sugar, 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 caffeine, caffeine, caffeine. That destroyed my body. Destroyed it. And, uh, and I actually don't drink soda anymore. When I, when I got in my recent um, kick to lose some weight and get a little healthier, I actually wiped out soda completely from my diet. This was um, about 18 months ago, and, and, and that was good. Um, I went from loving coffee, loving sweet coffee drinks, to loving nothing. And then when I, went, was in, when I was in Italy a couple months ago, I started loving espresso again. And now all I drink is a double espresso, or in Starbucks they call it a doppio espresso, uh, which is like only 15 calories and amazing shot of caffeine. A lot of people think it's a little bitter. But uh, when I do coffee, I do that. I either do it a little bit after dessert or during dessert, or I do it maybe sometimes bright and early in the morning. However, my caffeine beverage of choice is tea. I love all sorts of hot tea, and I love uh, cold tea as well. Not sweet tea like they have down here in the South, unsweet tea, uh, but I love, I love all sorts of tea. That's my caffeine of choice. Well, when I was in San Francisco last week, I met up a friend, uh, my, my dear friend Schneider Mike, uh, whom I've, he's just one of my best friends of all time. And uh, he happened to be in San Francisco as well. And we went to the Samovar Tea Lounge. Now I know they have like four or five locations in the San Francisco area. We went to the one uh, right near the Metreon uh, in, in SF MoMA. And um, it was a pretty awesome experience. I didn't go to have a meal, although the meals looked fantastic. I went just for the tea, and boy, did I get myself an interesting one. I got what they call the Shibumi Matcha Shot. Now, matcha green tea is awesome. It's my favorite. It's it's expensive, unfortunately, but it's it's so good, and I love it. This thing, wait, wait till you see the description. Warm cream, sautéed spinach, bittersweet chocolate, umami. Okay. What? Like... Okay, like where's the tea? <laughs> okay, um, they bring this thing out, and it is the most gorgeous, rich green color. And this thing is warm, and it was like cold and rainy when when I was there, and it just and I had already had lunch, and this was just like a nice shot of amazingness. It was so warm. It was so creamy. It it just it it had this amazing taste. I didn't taste the spinach at all. I didn't taste the chocolate at all. Frankly, it just tasted like great warm, like matcha green tea latte. A little shot of it. It was pretty amazing. Just had to share that awesome experience. If you guys are in the San Francisco Bay Area, have you been to Samovar Tea Lounge? Uh, if you're a tea connoisseur, I'm sure you have. Question of the day. I'm going to continue this thread because we had a really good one on my Facebook page. And, you know, you should check me out on Facebook if you get a chance uh, at facebook.freezerburns.com because I, I post some um, some interesting things I don't post anywhere else uh, there on Facebook. But what is your caffeine of choice? Leave that in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching.